We're gonna do lashes. But if you're gonna try lashes for the first time and you know, do a strip, try one that has a clear strip, like a clear base, instead of one that has a thicker base. Um, the more delicate and thin they are, the easier they are gonna be, to be um, put on so that they're not noticeable. And I do. And just um, cut a little bit off, off the end to fit the eyelid. So, you use Duo eyelash adhesive. It's the only eyelash adhesive you should ever put on your to put on eyelashes. It is amazing. Either it comes in clear or black, but don't use anything else because they they're too strong and they don't stay on. This is surgical adhesive grade, and it's forgivable and it won't pull your eyelashes out. Um, put a little bit little strip on there. A little bit goes a long way, and then let it dry till it gets or not till it dries till it gets tacky, and that should take about 30 seconds. And blow on them, bend them, make them flexible. Um, but the probably the best way for lashes, if you're gonna try them on your own yourself, but if you go to Mac and you buy the lashes, they'll put on, put the eyelashes on on you, so you can do your eye makeup. And then if you wanted to run to the Mac store, they'll throw a pair of lashes yeah, out. You're gonna look down. I look down. I just yeah, look down, and then you just sl they really will it will slide on if you just you're not you can't be aggressive with them. You just kind of. Push them, tap them into place, look down in that way, and and the the w little bit of white that is showing, look down that way. We'll try clear. And the biggest thing is to make sure that the eyelashes are down by your eyelash line, and that your lashes like kind of pinch them together if you're doing it yourself, to make sure that they're close enough. And then um, also once you put the mascara on, they'll kind of blend together. The biggest thing is be really gentle and delicate when you're doing it. I mean, you wouldn't want to poke, your, poke yourself in the eye, but the lashes, if you're aggressive with them and you try and push and tear them, they're gonna grab and they're not gonna, they're not gonna work with you. Now we're gonna leave that alone and we're gonna finish off the makeup and then we're gonna do mascara at the very end. Um, and then we do NC45 at the very end, just to give a little bit I wasn't doing that at the end. I was doing it right after my 30, but it's better to do it at the end. Well, because you, your, your foundation and powder is set, and they, you don't want to get too dark, and so we kind of use this as a bronzer instead of a, an actual bronzer that has shimmer. This just kind of gives a little bit more color and definition. But I, do it at the, I like doing it more at the end. That way you don't make your, your skin too dark. Mm -hmm. All right. And then finishing it off before the mascara is we go with the highlighting powder. Just a little bit right there. Just kind of pops up and gets rid of. I don't do any of this on my own because I just don't know how. Light sweep is what it's And accentuate is this one. But they're just like highlight powders. They're by MAC Pro and they just kind of make it so that there's no line or anything underneath your eyes. Now take your mascara. Zoom mascara is what you use. And then wipe it off once. Why? Because it won't. It'll keep it from clumping. And then I start on the bottoms first, and do the bottom mascara. It's also good if you, instead of being building on layers on mascara, you don't want to do all of it one time. And you basically are just trying to get your lashes. Because if you get too much mascara on your fake lashes, one. They look really fake, and two, they don't look up for me. They don't hold up as well. All right, lipstick. Will you strip down? <coughs> strip down. Can let's. You just get really light. Yeah. And make sure you blend. That's the biggest part. Yeah. And then I put on like angel lips. lipstick. I just pat it. I don't even put a whole lot on. I'm kind of over gloss these days. So I think I want to go with a more matte look. But what I usually do, I'll do a little Turkish delight just because that's what I usually wear. NARS Turkish delight. And I make sure I put it over the liner so you don't it blends it in more. And we're done. 
My favorite thing in life to do is get my makeup done. So this is the finished smoky eye look and I hope you guys like it. Do we need any more blush? There's no one that does my makeup better than Steven and it looks amazing. Right. And now I can go out tonight. There's two different cuts. One is Shy Beauty we use, or Cheek. And Shy Beauty has a little touch of shimmer. And this one has, is just a basic color, but they're real muted down. 